Hey guys, it's Jeff with the Oh My God Why. Uh, working on the bus today. I was, I'm swapping out the stereo. I have the old uh, cassette deck um, ready to come out. Got a nice new Bluetooth one going in. Um, it's one of the kind of choice upgrades I think that uh, could have been a budget buster, but I got a good deal. So anyway, this is something that, uh, I mean, even to this day kind of intimidates me. Honestly, it's a super easy process. So I wanted to kind of make a time lapse and see... Uh, Kind of show you guys how easy it is if you haven't done it before. Um, now, of course, this doesn't apply to modern cars with spidered in uh, GPS and HVAC and all that. But uh, your standard old uh, old car with a DIN or a DIN and a half stereo, it is not difficult. It's typically minor wiring uh, attachments, and that's about it. So here, uh, I'll give you an idea of what we got, and then uh, set up a time lapse, and you can kind of see how this all comes together. So I cheated a little bit. Here's the old stereo. You can kind of see it's already poking out. So basically, the one of the one of the most painful parts is is trying to figure out how to uh, remove the old stereo. Sometimes this was an aftermarket unit, which is nice because this section here, this whole piece around there, that is typically something you'll have to buy. That'll uh, fill that hole in the dash and give you a standard size, which is called DIN D I N, to work with. So. What I did is I removed, or I loosened it so I can pull it out now, and that's typically done with like a little spring clip on the side, and uh, just gonna make it a little bit easier to pull out. But show you the tools and stuff we got set up as well. Here's the new unit right over here. This is the sleeve that it mounts to, so that actually replaces one that's already inside the dash, and then that's how this new one clips in. Um, let's see what came with this. So here's the wiring harness, and then this is a Bluetooth one, so it does have a microphone too that I'll have to route. Um, in terms of tools. These little keys right here are actually how you remove it from the dash um, once you got it in. So I got them out, really we shouldn't need them because it'll be slided in and call it done. Um, these are the tools that I've got. Wire stripper and crimper, um, diagonal cutters for cutting old wires, and then just a little flat blade screwdriver for putting it in. And then the parts, the only thing that I really had to buy are these. These are butt splices. So uh, the wires they use are 14 gauge. So these are uh, 14 to 16 gauge. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna need about 10 of them. It's a 15 pack, I think it was $2 at Walmart. So not particularly expensive. So anyway, I'll keep track of the time and then I'll get this time lapse going. I'll report back when we're done. go 56 minutes from when I turned on the time lapse to uh, right now basically so and that includes some troubleshooting uh, you probably noticed that I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on because no sound was coming off and uh, and yeah it was uh, it was confusing me so I pulled out the multimeter make sure uh, what happened is I'm dumb and I forgot to disconnect the uh, negative battery cable which is kind of standard practice so you don't pop a fuse and surprisingly enough I popped a fuse um, this it happened to be the uh, radio memory fuse which is tied to the constant power which basically keeps the stations that you put as your presets in memory because that's tied to uh, tied to the battery all times um, so yeah it was pretty easy to check with the uh, multimeter figured that out found the fuse and replaced it so you should be able to see that in the preceding uh, time lapse so anyway uh, like I said even under an hour uh, the vast majority of that was actually just putting that harness together um, you can see strip put on crimp uh, basically do that ten times and then strip the other side crimp it all together make sure it works <laughs> try not to blow a fuse and uh, that's about it so that one's uh, just about done I got to clean up the um, the wiring just a bit you can see there's a wire hanging out right down there and that's for the uh, microphone for the Bluetooth so I'm going to get that all zip tied up. I'm going to set the presets, set up Bluetooth, but I already confirmed all the speakers are working as, uh, as intended. So I'm going to call this one done, check it off the list, and we will talk about it in the next podcast, episode 10, which should come out in about a week and a half. All right, thanks for, that. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, check out the podcast, uh, check out all the social media, and we'll talk to you soon.